Hello and welcome to another episode of Dr. ER. TV. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Hello everyone, Dr. Carlo Ojed with Dr. ER. TV, and in this video I just want to do a video reaction to this viral video I found on Facebook and it was posted in one of the doctor groups there's a lot of criticism as to CPR and whether or not you should have been doing CPR in a patient or not or, and, and, and it's a really good discussion so let's just go ahead and watch this video there's a gentleman doing CPR apparently they were doing basketball you can see that he's doing CPR he stops and the guy's like responding all of a sudden he's talking and then he stops responding so the guy starts CPR again and he does CPR uh, only for a few seconds before the guy starts moving his arms again. And you'll see it come up next. Yep, he pulls the ambu back out of the place and leave me alone. You know, he's starting to breathe. The gentleman opens his airway, does the oxygen, checks on him, restarts CPR. So some of the criticism comes because if the patient is awake, you don't do CPR. Obviously, they have perfusion of the brain, so they're circulating enough that there is circulation of the brain enough that they can move and talk. Then there's no need for CPR. But this particular scenario could be due to a number of reasons, and I think this is perfectly fine. He's checking on him. He's not responding. He resumes CPR. You know, he's doing a pretty good speed, getting some good recall and contractions. It is very possible that it's because the contractions are so good, he actually brings enough blood flow to his brain that the guy actually has uh, brain perfusion, wakes up, and then as the perfusion goes down because there's no longer CPR, he goes away. Now, I had this happen to me my first year out of residence. I was doing CPR on this lady, and she would wake up, pull everybody away, talk to us and stuff, and a few seconds later, she would and go and flatline again. And we'd do CPR, and she would uh, come back. And that happened three or four or five times, I think. And I was like, what? It's going on. i never seen this happen before. Well, as it turns out, her potassium was eight. Normal potassium between uh, four and five. And high potassium leads to what is called sinus arrhythmia or um, sinus wave. And it basically asystole when it's high enough. The heart can't function. It depolarizes. It can't contract like it should. So there was nothing wrong with her heart. There was nothing wrong with her brain. So when you contracted and did CPR, she got circulation. She got better. As soon as you let go, the heart stopped. And boom, she would pass out. The other thing, and when I talked about one of the other doctors about this particular case, is whether or not this patient may, may be going into V-fib arrest. And he says he had a case of a patient who was literally on V-fib. They would do CPR and he would wake up and look at them. What are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. And then they would say, you're trying to die on us here. And then he would like pass out, fall back, and they would have to restart CPR. So the initial reaction to this to a lot of the medical providers, why are you doing CPR on an awake patient? Well, it's not an awake patient. This patient is clearly unresponsive. Now, I didn't see any pulse checks and stuff, but if the guy is not able to communicate and talk and stuff, this guy's saving his life by providing uh, coronary perfusion and uh, providing brain perfusion by doing efficient CPR enough to bring circulation back up and um, do that. So, um, uh, as you can see, the guy has a ambu back to give oxygen so the new recommendation if there was nobody to help you it's just CPR you would continue to CPR and not do uh, ventilation rescue ventilations but since you have a helper looks like a nurse uh, the way she's dressed um, then that's the adequate they're doing oxygen and, and com compressions and you do them fast you know uh, 100 120 per minute and 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 this is perfectly fine I don't see anything wrong with what's going on here and this guy's working hard to save this gentleman's life. So, um, as I was saying, there are other cases like B-fib arrest where the guy would come around, get circulation, and then pass out again. And uh, so, so don't be quick to judge. Uh, you never know the particular situation. And uh, he's being a good Samaritan, trying to help, and he's doing a very good job. All right? Thank you very much for watching and for other videos go to www.dr.er.tv